Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they were about to make, and they allowed the word no to stop them? When you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life, just know this, because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision, in most cases, they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life. But know this, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. They'll laugh at you, they'll call you names because they have no dreams. They don't want it. Most people go through life holding back. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. You want to set some high standards for yourself. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will and I'm not going to let anything stop me. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision and ideas. And understand that for every level, there's another devil. It is the devil's job to create challenges, issues and conflicts, insecurities, fear, because he wants to put you to a test. But I can tell you now, I piss the devil off every day because I just don't stop. And the devil is so mad. This fucking guy, doesn't matter if he gets sick, it doesn't matter what happens to his money or his finances, every time he gets out of his bed and he's on a mission to get it done. And as you begin to look at your life, decide, that you're gonna start working on that dream. You're gonna work and nurture that idea. Now, there will be people that will criticize you. There will be people that won't see it for you. But I say to you, don't let nobody turn you around. You don't need anybody to understand it. You don't need anybody to approve you. You don't need anybody to say, go ahead on and do it. If you get that, that's fantastic. If you get that encouragement, that's great. But I say stand up within yourself boldly and say, this is my life. I'm controlling my destiny. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Take quitting out your vocabulary. Take it out. Cry if you must. Rest if you must. But the worst thing you can do is quit. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. You get to a point when you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. 
So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. When you leave what you fighting for, what's your legacy, what you going to do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. You've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. I hate when people give 70%, but they want the life of somebody that's giving 100%. I challenge you, your life is where it is because of the percentage that you're giving. You cannot bring a tree down by hitting it a thousand times. If you hit a tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, the tree is not gonna fall. But if you hit a tree a thousand times in that same exact spot, she's gonna come to the ground. Your problem is you did hit it a thousand times, but in a thousand different places. You need to do me a huge favor, stop trying to be deep. I need you to do the exact same thing every single day for the next 10, 15, 20 years and watch that tree come down. And watch you go from zero to a multi-million dollar company to working with the top NBA teams doing commercials. Nothing's changed, guys. I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing 20 years ago. I just keep doing it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday and you might be strong, but by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. There's only two ways you can be. You can be the person who learns a little bit, who does a little bit, and then who decides that this really isn't for them and moves on to something else and repeats that cycle over and over and over again. Or you can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to fucking work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what happens in the world, no matter what. I'm f***ing doing this. Those are the people that are going to win. Anybody can go one or two down. Anybody can go three down. But it's very seldom that you find a cat when he's standing in that tunnel till his four zeros on that clock, he's going to give you everything. He, that's a man to me. It's a big difference between a hard worker and somebody that works hard. Most cats are somebody that works hard. If the situation and the circumstance is what they want it to be, they're going to come out and they're going to act accordingly and they're going to give you everything they got. But a hard worker? Regardless of situation, regardless of circumstance, regardless of what happened, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I'm working for something that's totally different. The question becomes this, can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? I'm talking about grit. I'm talking about endurance. Just having more stamina than they got. In order to get to the next level, you got to sacrifice. You got to take risks. You got to be willing to do by faith whatever you're asked to do. Listen to me, there are no shortcuts to success. There are no discounts to success. It's always sweat. It's always blood. It's always tears. You always have to give all to be the best. Yes, it's hard. But I ask for it and I'll do whatever it takes to maintain it. It is not easy, but I'm not about to quit. I'm not about to give up.